Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Lesson 29 on Pivot Tables. Last two lessons we've talked about pivot charts. Today I want to show you one more trick about pivot charts. In the other two lessons we said, here's how to create a pivot chart from scratch. and You create the pivot table and then get that right and turn it into a pivot chart data. Let's assume you've got a pivot table like this one. Hey, we've, we've done all this stuff. We've got the reimbursement just the way we want. What I really want to do is graph. Just say, let's look at these percentages by physician maybe over time. and you know, That'd be an interesting graph. And Rather than start from scratch and create a brand new pivot table so you can have a pivot chart, here's how to do it. If you go in here and you say, you know what I really want to do is make a chart of that. Let's go to the insert menu. and We haven't done a bar chart yet, so we'll, let's do uh, a two-dimensional bar chart. And when you do that, you'll recognize, hey, I've got a pivot chart filter pane. Excel says, oh, you're working with a pivot table. I'm going to give you that filter pane. But it's kind of a mess to look at this because we've got all this data in here, so we're going to clean some of it up. If we move some of these fields, we're just going to drag them out of the way. Now I've got my percentages by physician. And if I take a date code here and drag the date over here, now what I've got, if I uh, now let's we will move we'll just move this maybe make it a little bit bigger and that fast I've got my five physicians I've got a bar chart that says hey 2009 was a particularly good year compared to the other two for Dr. Finding Indiana was about the same it actually down a little bit for Dr. Pirates 2009 was a, a pretty good year for Dr. Storm better than the other two not as big as Dr. Finding and you can go all the way down through that. And that fast, you got a pivot table you wanted, now you've got a chart. You could move it to another location. You can go to all the design uh, layouts to get different um, colors and styles. You can add titles. You can add all kinds of things that you would normally add to an Excel chart that fast. So as soon as you have a pivot table that you like, drag this, we'll try to drag this out of the way, get it, um, get it close. Highlight some of the cells you want to work with. Insert, decide what kind of chart you want to do. And presto, you've got another pivot chart you can play with. It's a great shortcut if you've already got a pivot table that you, you like to create a pivot chart from it. Hope you found that helpful. As always, I appreciate you watching.